الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد the major sins of the tongue evils of the tongue Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa ibadur rahman alladhina yamshuna ardi huna wa idha khatabahum jahiluna qalu salama the faithful slaves of the beneficent Allah are they who walk upon the ad modestly and when the foolish ones are raised them harshly they answer peace and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا إِذَا سَمِعُوا اللَّهَ أَعْرَضُوا عَنْهُ and when they hear ill speech Allah they turn away from it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says مَا يَلْفِدُ مِنْ قَوْلُ لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ أَتِيدٌ not a word does he utter but there is a watcher by him ready to record it it was narrated on the authority of Abu Rai رضي الله عنه that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sallam said he who believes in Allah in the last day should say that it is good or keep silent Sa'ad ibn Sa'id ibn Sa'ad رضي الله عنه reported Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as saying whoever guarantees the chastity of what is between his jaw with his two jaw bones that is mouth and tongue and what is between his two legs that is his private part his private part that I shall guarantee for him paradise Sufyan ibn Abdullahi Sufyan ibn Abdullahi radiallahu related he asked, O Allah's messenger, what is the thing you fear most for me? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took hold of his own tongue and replied, Restrain this. Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu reported, He asked, O Messenger of Allah, Shall we really be punished for what, for, what, for what we talk about? He replied, I'm surprised Mu'ad will anything but the harvest of their tongues overthrow men in hell on their faces, or he said on their, no, on their nostrils. Abu Sa'id radiallahu anhu reported, Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are saying, When a man gets up in the morning, all the limbs humble themselves before the tongue and say, Fear Allah for our sake. For we are dependent on you. If you are straight, we are straight. But if you are a crook, we are, we are crook. Abu Radi Allah related that the Prophet ﷺ said, A man speaks a word without considering or it of any importance. Yet for it, it will, it will sink down in, into hell further than the distance between the east and the, and the, and the west. Bilal ibn Jarrah radiya Allah reported Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said A man speaks a word pleasing to Allah A man speaks a word pleasing to Allah not realizing that it is word So many words for which Allah records for him his good pleasure till the day For him his good pleasure till the day he meets him And a man speaks a word displeasing to Allah the all high Not realizing that it leads to so many sins for which Allah records for him his displeasure till the day he meets him Jundu bin Abdullah radiya Allah reported that Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said A man said I swear by Allah that Allah will not forgive so and so Whereupon Allah said who is this man who says that I will not forgive so and so For I have forgiven so and so and I have made the speaker's deeds to come to nothing It's reported that a man who saw was a pure and God fearing man Haburera said one should speak words that preserve his world and hereafter Talking too much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa inna alaykum la hafidin ikraman katibin ya ala muna ma taf'aloon. Lo, they are above you guidance angels, generous and recording. Who know all that you do? Aynam. Allah mughira ibn Shubh radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah has made it a law for you to be and dutiful to your mother so to bury your daughters alive, to refuse to help the few and others and to beg things from men. Add this place for you three things, engaging in sinful and useless talk, asking too many and unnecessary questions about religious matters, and squandering wealth. Jabir al related that the Prophet said, People dearest to me and the seated nearest to me on the day of restoration, from youngest you will be those who have the best characters, and the most hateful to me and seated furthest away from me on the day of restoration, will be those who speak much and are loud modded, and who are proud. Artificiality and ranting. And when you look at them, their bodies please you. And when they speak, you listen to their words. Ibn Umar reported that the Prophet said, I look when the speech may have the influence of magic. Ibn Umar also said that Allah said, 
Allah has that fish oil quint speaker among men who moves his tongue uh, around 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 um, um, among round among his teeth as cattle do while grazing. Abu Radiallahu anhu related the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Allah will not accept repentance or ransom on the day of resurrection from the one who lands excellence of uh, excellence of speech to captivate the by the hearts of people. Muawiyah Radiallahu reported Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cast those who articulate words for sure uh, distinctly as they do with poetry.